Hello everyone, in this video I thought I would share with you the news sites that I use when I compile a week of Linux news videos. I know there's a few more around the internet, but these are the ones I use most of. OS Technics, not specifically a news site, they do have some articles on here, but they also do some useful tips and tricks which I post from time to time on my Twitter and Google Plus feeds. Planet Ubuntu, quite a long list of blog posts, uh, this can be quite interesting to see what is being developed. Uh, some interesting applications that are going on at the moment. KD News. <laughs> yes, I do specialize a bit in KD. Well, it is the operating system that I use, so I would rather not try and fudge my way through GNOME too much when I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis. The KD actually have quite a few pages which I use, so the security advisories. Doesn't get updated too much, unfortunately. The announcement pages, blog posts, and Planet KD, which is also like some blog posts as well. But again, this is interesting, like the Planet Ubuntu, you do get to see some aspects of what is being developed and some interesting applications. Planet GNOME, yeah, similar to the other two Planet sites. I don't get so much from this really. Gaming on Linux, uh, although I don't tend to cover too much gaming on my channel, uh, it's sad really, but I don't think there's quite enough of a market for it. Fair play, sites like this do exist, and they are generating interest with gaming, but, but I don't think there is enough of an audience to share across too many YouTube channels. Life on Linux, this is from the same author that does gaming on Linux, but you can certainly see the lack of posts here that gaming is definitely more of his speciality. Linux security, this is mostly an amalgamation of posts from other websites, but they do have a couple of articles of their own, uh, particularly the Linux Security Week. ZDNet, Linux and open source section, doesn't get updated too often. It seems like they go through patches. They update a load of articles in one week and then you won't see anything more for quite a few days. Another category on ZDNet specifically for Linux. Softpedia, they do quite a lot of Linux news stories. Fair play to them, and it is mostly by Marius Nesta now. Is it mostly or all by Marius Nesta? But I kind of feel lazy if I just sit only on one news site, so I do like to pick and mix, really. Choose quite a few. Linux Today. This is entirely an amalgamation of posts from other news sites across the internet. You do have to regularly view this site because you get this nice detail only on a day-to-day -day basis. If you start looking in the archives, it gets a little bit cut down. So. LXER, very similar to Linux today, but they have a slightly longer feed here, so I can leave this one a few days and still catch up. OMG Ubuntu, well, do I really need to describe this one? New site dedicated entirely to articles about Ubuntu. Ubuntu Insights, this is more stories from Canonical, it's kind of a bit of a confusing one to read because they mix up the articles a bit. So like on cloud and server, we have, oh, look, a recent article here. So kind of scroll down the page a bit more and then they get a bit older and then you go, oh, Internet of Things. Oh, we have a new article again. So they split it out into categories and you do have to look very carefully. Okay. The Register, well, my favourite tech news site. Yeah, they do have some really amusing articles on here and their news seems to be well researched. DistroWatch, best way to keep track of new releases, although they only show distros that are at least one year old. And I believe their logic for that is that most distros die within their first year. Pseudo Satirical, definitely not a real news site, but there are some damn funny articles on here. Yeah, I've never featured that in my week of Linux news, but maybe one day I will. A subreddit of News of the Stupid, and this is where I find my stupid news of the week. I'm glad I came across this page because I think it was only a couple of weeks or so ago I actually found it. Before that I was actually using Google News and trying to sift through articles on there which was quite long-winded. Yeah, this page certainly makes my job a lot easier. And that is it. So this is a video I've just got uploaded. And that was the list of news sites that I use. So I'll leave a link in the description to these. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.